what is going on guys in this video we are going to learn how we can implement bottom navigation bar in jetpack compose you can see this is our application we have three navigation item that is home notifications and settings you can click on any navigation items and the screen will be visible also we are displaying badge in the notification so let's start the video with new android studio project select new project select empty activity that is jetpack compose activity click on next let's give the application name bottom navigation demo Minimum SDK let it be 8.0, build configuration language let it be recommended one. Click on finish. Our project is created. Let's run and test either it is created correctly or not. So hello android is visible that means it is created correctly. Let's say hello to this hello android and delete this composables and also we'll delete this greeting composable. Now first thing what we will do, we'll create a different file to create a new composable. Let's call it as main screen and here we'll create one composable. Let's call it main screen. And what we will do from this main activity, we will extract this scaffold, cut this out, paste it here in main screen and here we will call that main screen. So from main activity, we are going to main screen and here we will do the design. So here if you hover over scaffold, we have lots of item, modifier, top bar, bottom bar and content. So content will be whatever it will be visible over here in the screen and bottom bar it will be visible at the bottom. So we will use that bottom bar. First let's pass the content. So for now I will create another composable. So let's call it as content screen and from here scaffold I will call this content screen and I will pass modifier equals to modifier dot padding that will be inner padding. So in this way it will be our content. We won't write anything for now. Let's go to the scaffold and put it on separate line. And here if you see we have bottom bar and it takes composable. So we can pass any composable. Let's say if you pass text and say bottom. If you run it, you can see we have the text at bottom. That means whatever composable we create, it will be visible at bottom because scaffold has taken full size. Now here we can design our own row and we can put icons and label, but we won't do that because we have inbuilt composable that is navigation bar. So this is the navigation bar. It takes some property like container color, content color, elevation and the content that will take the composable. And here we can pass different items. So what will be the items? You can make your own column inside that you can pass text and icon, but that also I won't do. What we will do? We will use navigation bar item. You can see over here navigation bar item. It takes some of the mandatory parameter that is selected. That means we can pass true or false. It will show as selected or not selected. On click we can do something icon we can pass over here. Also if you hover over here we can pass label as well colors everything you can do. So in this way we can add multiple items. Let's say we have three items we can pass like this. But it's not good to pass like this. We'll create nav item data class and then we can create list from that and then we can loop. So for that what I will do I'll create a data class. Let's call it as nav item and here we'll give some attributes. So what will be the attributes? Let's say we want to show label as well as icon. So for that we have to store it. Let's call it as label string and also icon which will be of type image vector so that we can use icons. In this way you can create the nav item and then we can create the list. So here in main screen what I will do first, I will create list of items. Let's call it as nav item list equals to list of. Now we can create individual nav item over here. So first I will create if you see we can pass label and icon. Let's call it home and pass icon. You can use your own icon in the drawable or you can create vector assets. I will use from icons dot default whatever we have over here. We can use home in the same way. It should be minimum three maximum you can create five minimum three items should be there or maximum you can have five item in this navigation bar. So you can duplicate it. I will do notification item do notification and notifications icon and third one let's say settings settings icon. Now we have created the list of nav list. Now here in the navigation bar what we can do we can loop on this. So what we will do nav item list dot for each indexed. So here we will get index of each item and also the nav item. So we can make composable over here. So what composable I have already mentioned. We have navigation bar item. You can see let's put it on different line. Now here we have to pass selected. Now here we have to pass selected on click icon and also we will pass label. So it will be also composable. So we will pass four things. So selected for now let's pass true on click let's not pass anything icon will do icon which will take image vector that is inside this nav item dot 
icon and content description let it be icon for now and in the label also inside this nav item we have label so text composable nav item dot label in this way we have added label text composable icon icon composable for each nav item that means for three items if i run now you can see over here we have three items we can click those on click will not work but all have the selected effect that means we have passed through that's why all are selected so we should not do that whenever we click on home it should be only home selected notification and settings should not be selected so for that we need one variable so that we can store which is selected so let's say selected index we'll do by remember and mutable int state of will pass initial value as zero so let's import this now we can use the selected index now here whenever we click on any item what we will do we'll do selected index equals to index in this way whichever item is clicked that index it will store inside selected index and in the selected boolean variable what we can do if selected index equals to equals to index it will be either true or false so whatever index item it is selected it will check if it is true it will have this blue background otherwise it won't have if i run now you can see since we have given zero home is selected for notification now it is selected settings now it is selected in this way it will work but we have to change the content of the scaffold according to this navigation items so how we can do that first we have to create three pages for home notification and for settings and then we can add logic over here so first we'll create three pages for demo i'll create package first as pages and inside that i'll create one kotlin class file kotlin file let's say home page so here i will just create a simple composable so I'll just add a text in the center. So I'll use column. So for the column, I will pass modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size. Also, I will give background. So some color code, let's say 0 X F F. Let's give black and then we can change from here. So let's select this blue color for now and vertical arrangement arrangement dot center horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally and inside this column, I will just give a text composable to show so text will be let's say home page font size 40 dot sp font weight let's give uh, semi bold and color let's give color dot white in this way we have just created one screen to show which page we are in let's create other page as well so let's call it a notification page and also settings page i'll just copy everything from here paste it call it as notification page and here also in the text notification page paste it here settings page let's call it settings page now we have three screen whenever we click on any item we will show accordingly so how we can do that in this content screen we can write the logic so let's write that so here what we will do along with modifier we'll pass selected index so that we can know which index is selected so here we will pass selected index and here we can create selected index int now here we can check when selected index if it is zero then we can do home page because it is the first one if it is one notification page if it is two we can do settings page now if i run you can see by default we have home page it is selected also and in notification notification page settings settings page in this way this bottom navigation will work you can add multiple items over here maximum five if you see you can add let's say profile and use the icon person rerun it the items will be added if i go to profile there will be no screen because we have not added over here but it is working so let's remove this person for now so bottom navigation is working one more thing i want to show is we can add badge over here if let's say i have five notification we can show a badge over here with the circle so that we'll get to know that we have five notifications and for any items you can do that so for that what i will do first so here instead of the icon instead of this what we will do badge box so we have this composable badged box badged box and you can see over here it takes badge as well as the box scope that is content here in the content pass this icon content will be icon and the badge whatever composable we pass that will be visible over here so for the badge we have badge composable you can see over here like this if you hover over here it, this is experimental you can click on this in the badge we can pass its content let's say let's say text will pass let's give the hard-coded value for now 5 if i run now you can see the badge is visible in each icon 
because we have given hard coded 5 that's why it is visible so to not hard code it what we will do we'll go into the data class nav item and create one more variable that will be badge badge count and it will be int so here while creating the item for home i will give 0 for notification 5 and for settings again 0 now here in the text we have to give from nav item dot batch count dot to string now if i run you can see over here notification has 5 this has 0 this has 0 but if there is 0 we don't need to show it so for this batch we can add condition over here if nav item dot batch count is greater than 0 then only show this batch if it is greater than 0 let's run it now only for the notification it's visible in this way our bottom navigation bar is working also the navigation is working you can also implement navigation with nav controller and nav host but here i have shown you in more simple way for the simple apps if you want how to do navigation with nav controller and nav host in this bottom navigation bar i can make the video for that so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye